Shabbat Shalom. We hope you're having a fabulous week, and we look forward to seeing you this weekend. Before we continue with our weekly video, I just want to take a moment to thank everyone for the outpouring of thoughtfulness, kind notes, and gestures that have helped me during a difficult time. I really appreciate this community so much, and thank each and every one of you for your words and support. Tadaraba. We have a wonderful opportunity for you on Wednesday, November 12th. Rachel Korazim, an Israeli scholar, will be coming to Temple of Muna after Minyan at 7.30 and talking about Israel-Diaspora relations, different narratives coming together. On Thursday evening, November 13th, I will hold a meditative marav right here in the large chapel. It's an opportunity to experience the evening service from a slower perspective. Immediately following, Barbara Neustadt and I will be leading a spirituality group, which you're also welcome to join us for at 8 p.m. And we will combine meditation, Hasidic text learning, and sharing. We hope you can join us for the singing and the dancing at Kabbalat Shabbat here Friday night at 6.15. Would you like to study the week's Torah portion a little more in depth? Join me on Shabbat morning at 9.15 in the Katz meeting room. Delicious, freshly brewed Ely coffee, delicious pastries, and of course, insights into the week's Torah portion. Join us on Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. for Shabbat morning services, where we'll celebrate the Bar Mitzvah of R.J. Schechner, with whom we spoke earlier this week. R.J., would you say a word about your Dvar Torah? My Dvar Torah is about the similarities between Sarah and Rebecca's traits. Interesting. We look forward to learning from this weekend. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. And during services, we will hold Veterans Day Shabbat. So if you are a veteran or know of a Temple of Muna member who's a veteran, please come to services so we can honor you and thank you for your service to our country. Join us Shabbat afternoon at 4 o'clock where we'll gather for Mincha, text study, Mariam and Habdallah. We'll be kicking off our study of Mishnah Ta'anit, a really interesting volume of Mishnah where it discusses ideas related to prayer. If you've never experienced Mishnah study before, this can be the Shabbat. In chapter 24 of this week's Torah reading, we read that the camels were given straw and feed, and only then were the humans allowed to have their dinner. This is the source that one must take care of their pets before sitting down to a meal. This week's video is sponsored by the Schechner family in honor of RJ's Bar Mitzvah. Mazal Tov. We look forward to seeing you this weekend. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Ata inu no ladim ba jungle.